Hey guys, welcome to my home studio. Come on in, make yourself comfortable. Let me show you what uh, Cakewalk's doing with their updates and how they uh, ask you that you go ahead and proceed with their updates. It's a new program. It's a membership program. And that's a whole other subject, but I actually think it's very good. But this way, once they roll out the updates, you can get them as soon as they have them available. They don't need to compile them all and maybe make a new release or an update release. If they have a single update, they can go ahead and just uh, have it available. And so that way we'll be able to get it as quickly as possible. But let me show you on the computer here. What they've done is they've created a program called Command Center and they ask that you download that onto your computer. And here's my desktop icon for that. I'll go ahead and open the program. You can see at the bottom it's loading the products that I've purchased through Cakewalk. And it's also checking for the updates as you can see. And here we go. And this is basically the main page on this. Uh, if you have any trial products you can click on this tab and we'll go ahead and show you the trial products that you're using. It's got your serial number here which I've <laughs> grayed out for you here. Uh, but at any rate, um, on the Sonar Platinum uh, they've already had one update, the Alston update, and by the way, they're naming the updates after the towns in Massachusetts, and Alston, Massachusetts, and let me just show you about these lights here on the side. It shows that I've downloaded uh, XLN Addictive Drums, and also their Sonar Platinum, and the reason some of these lights are orange, basically, if, if I can make this clear, is because I did not go ahead and reinstall this part of the program. But when I installed Sonar Platinum, I upgraded from Sonar Producer X3. And the only things that were really new, other than the core program from Producer to Platinum, were the help and tutorials and then Anderton FX chains. All these were st always are still were still included in the old version X3 and I had Dimension Pro and I had Rapture Melodyne Essential and I did not reinstall those. Now the thing is is they don't know that I have them installed in my computer but they know that I've purchased them. So what's going to happen when they have an update is this green light on the Sonar Platinum apparently is going to change to yellow and that'll indicate there's an update available. You go ahead and download the update and then you should be all current again. The only thing that I'm potentially missing out on is uh, by not downloading these other programs, Dimension Pro. Uh, if they have an update for Dimension Pro, I won't know about that because uh, I didn't reinstall it again through this, uh, through their, their current system here. But Dimension Pro hasn't had an update in four or five years, so I'm not really worried about that. But it makes it really easy to go ahead and see about your updates. So as soon as I have a, a Sonar Platinum, uh, the core program uh, has an update, that'll be yellow. We'll click on the update and go ahead and, and install it. And then you can just go ahead and launch the program right from this uh, page right here. You see it's loading my Sonar Platinum. I can open up a project as typical. And here we go, get started away. And that's really all I wanted to show is just that main page, how that's a little bit different on getting the updates. You don't go to the website and look for the updates or, or go to your account page or whatever. Now you can still access all that information, but if you noticed, uh, or actually the thing is, is they've only got in this program what I've purchased when I bought the Platinum program and anything going forward. It doesn't show all my old purchases like Sonar 7 and, and et cetera, Sonar 6, uh, because that's all prior to this. But if, you can go to your account page and still have that information. They've got all your serial numbers there. And of course, if you didn't want to go through the command center, you can go ahead and just launch the program with a desktop icon as you would normally. And that's it, guys. I'm sure I made that as clear as mud, but it's really simple. And I think it's a good method. I think it's going to work out great. By the way, I'm really enjoying Sonar Platinum. I highly recommend that you jump into the program. It's fantastic. At any rate, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.